You make it easier when life gets hard. Lucky I'm in love with my best friend. Lucky to have been where I have been. Lucky to be coming home again. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the street life. <clears throat> I'm Sydney. Trey's not here right now. He's at work. So it's just going to be me today. And it's a little like story time. So like I know Trey and I only have one video up. And it was like a long time ago that we posted that video. But we haven't really like had time to post another video. Mainly because like we were so busy with like school and like with wrestling. Well even though we we'll get into we'll get into wrestling later anyways so we were graduating so we didn't really have time to uh to to record and to edit because honestly it takes a lot of it takes a lot of time time so we just ha we just never had time for it now it's summer and we really all we really do is work and spend time together so um we're back and we're happy to be back so if you guys don't know or like yeah if you guys don't know um Trey and I are expecting a little boy in September and we are very excited for him uh I am currently 26 weeks and four days pregnant so I'm in the last week of my of my six months uh, Saturday I'll be seven months pregnant and I'm ready for him to come out let me tell you I don't like being pregnant I love my little boy he is so worth it but pregnancy is not fun at all like not fun, not fun whatsoever. anyways so that's basically like what's been going on just like graduating high school and like what we found out we found out we were pregnant on January 15th. Um, I remember because it was the day after our anniversary. So, yeah. And I'll tell the story later. We found out I was pregnant January 15th. Immediately we got, we, uh, got jobs. And we were just working. So it was just school and work. I had to focus on pharmacy. Which, it, that's over now. I have my certification. And we're blessed. So, yeah. So, the biggest question that I've gotten, or like that you guys have wanted to know is, how did, how did I find out I was pregnant? Or how did we find out that we were expecting? So, being a wrestler, I usually drink a lot of water. Like, oh my goodness. You have to be, you have to be like super healthy if you're a wrestler. I know sometimes you aren't or you see a lot of people not doing it and then they cut, they just cut weight like cheating or whatever. I never did that. I, w I always did it the right way. I always ate healthy, drank a lot of water. I would work out. I would do cardio. I would do everything. So, um, I would drink a lot of water. Just keep that in mind. We didn't get pregnant on purpose. Like it, it just happened it God said you're gonna get pregnant and I got pregnant right so and so the day before I took the pregnancy test I had already been two days late on my period I didn't really think anything of it because the month before I was a week late and then I got my period that like out of nowhere and usually like because I was eating healthy and like I would drink lots of water my periods were kind of just like some day some months it would be three days long some day it would be four days long like they were very light um, I wasn't heavy whatsoever so I was very grateful for that so I didn't really think anything of it I did not think anything of it well going back to drinking water a lot what happens if you drink water you drink water, you gotta go to the restroom, you gotta pee. So, I ended up peeing a lot for some reason. Like, on our anniversary, um, 
January 14th, I ended up paying so much. It was what, our, I want to say eight month anniversary? Yeah, it was our eight month anniversary. Anyways, I ended up paying so much, like, so much. Like, you know how, okay, so we were still in school. You know how every period's like 50 minutes long, 55 maybe? I would go at the beginning of the class and at the end of each class. Like, I would go twice in one period, right? And, um, I guess Trey had just noticed how much I was going. And so he, he had made a joke and he was like, oh, sounds like you're pregnant. And he just started laughing. You know, and I started laughing. I was like, yeah, right, I'm pregnant, right? So then that night, I just got to thinking. I was like, man, what if he, what if I am pregnant, right? So I had two pregnancy tests here at my house. <gasps> Sorry. And I don't know what possessed me to take a pregnancy test, but I still hadn't gotten my period. So I was like, you know what? And usually, like, I would get my period between like in the middle of the night so like two to five o'clock in the morning i would get my period and like i would wake up because i had cramps like it happened every single month and i still hadn't gotten my period so when i woke up the next day i still hadn't gotten my period so i decided to take the pregnancy test i had two i had the clear blue ones and uh i took the digital one that literally says pregnant or not pregnant and I took it and automatically it said pregnant. And I was kind of in denial. When I saw it, I was like, no, no, this isn't right. Like, this is not true. No, absolutely not. I'm not pregnant. Right? Anyways, so I was running late that day. So I just threw on like whatever clothes and I left. I left my house. So usually I went to Trey's house. In the mornings and then we would go to school together because um i didn't drive and i didn't have like my own car so my mom would like drop me off on her way to work so um yeah i i would go to his house every morning so that morning i went to his house and um i was just hiding like the pregnancy test behind my back and i i kissed him and i was like good morning my love right and he obviously saw that I was hiding something. So I said, so he was like, what's behind your back? And I said, no, nothing. There's nothing behind my back. Like, nothing. Like, it, it's dumb. That's what I said. And he was like, well, show me. And then I just started laughing. And so then he, like, grabbed the pregnancy test. And he looked at it. And he just, like, his eyes just, like, opened up. And he was like, are you serious? And I just started smiling. Like, I, I don't know why. I just couldn't stop smiling. Even though I was scared. Like, I was scared. I was terrified. I just could not stop smiling. And so then he picked me up and he started kissing me. And then I told him, like, it's not for sure. Like, I want to take another one just to be sure. Right? So then I took... So then we're about to leave and I was like, you know what, let me go take it real quick, right? So I had the other one. I took it and like, same, same thing, like not even a minute and it came out positive. And so there it was. We knew for sure that I was pregnant because one pregnancy test coming out saying like, like, or being a false positive is pretty rare, but like two coming out as false positives yeah no that really doesn't happen so trey wasn't i don't think he was upset i know for a fact he wasn't upset like we both knew what we were doing we knew it was a possibility that we would we could get pregnant but it is a scary feeling like we were still in high school we had our whole lives ahead of us and here we are having a baby in well, what would have been eight months because I was one month pregnant. One month and four days, I think. Yeah. And so, for a fact, I was terrified. But I was, I was 
it, it's such an overwhelming feeling. Like you're happy and you're scared and you're excited and you're overwhelmed and like there's just so many things going on, right? Out of nowhere, I just took a pregnancy test because my boyfriend made a joke, seriously. And I have it here actually, like here where it says pregnant. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, yeah. I still have this. I'm meaning to put it in like a shadow box. I don't know if it's like, some people are like, why do you still have a stick that has your pee on it? Well, because this is my first child. So I kind of just want to like remember this. Anyways. So then another big like question I have gotten is like, how did your family react? And let me tell you. Telling being a teenager living with your parents and telling your family or like in my mom's case she's 38 my mom's 38 telling your mom at 38 that she's gonna be a grandmother that's scary like especially like if you know my mom she can be a scary person so like telling her was not easy but i had decided like that day the day i found out i was pregnant i decided like i'm gonna tell my mom i have to tell my mom because if something happened to my to my baby i would like i i don't think i would be able to forgive myself like knowing that i could have prevented that or like yeah like I wanted to do what was best for my for my for my baby so as hard as it was I told my mom that day and well the first person I told was my best friend I texted him right away because he was usually he had school too so he was usually up by the time that I was so I texted him right away because like I was scared my he's my best friend he's always been there for me and he was like, oh crap. Like, he was happy for me, but he was like, what the hell are you going to do? Right? And, um, very supportive. Though, um, well, after I told him, I decided to tell my aunt. Because my tia Jenny, she's like a second mom to me. And she has been a mediator for me and my mom for years. Like, oh my goodness. My mom and I, we're the same person, so we butt heads a lot. And I don't know how many times we've gotten into arguments and my aunt would just help me see my mom's perspective and she would help me see, or help my mom see my perspective. And like, yeah. So she was the first person I told. And she was really, really like, she was disappointed, but she, not once did she tell me that I made a mistake or that I, or that I wasn't loved. Like after I told her, um, I had decided to text my mom. Yeah, I know, texting. I texted my mom that I was pregnant. My mom was so mad like so mad because i had a full ride for college like i was getting i was gonna get my full college paid for including books and housing and i was gonna have like ten thousand left just for whatever i wanted or for whatever i needed like i had i had i had it made for college and um, I had a big future ahead of me. And I, I'm pretty sure I still do. I mean, I'm still going to college. And, well, Trey and I are both still going to college. And um, we're still going to get careers, obviously. Um, but, yeah, she was very upset because we had, we had both worked so hard to get me to where, where I was at in both school and wrestling. But... And, you know, like, she picked me up that day. Um, she picked me up from school early. And she had me... 
uh, she took me to the doctor right away to like confirm it. They did and she was like very disappointed. Like I remember that night um, I came to my I came to my room like after the doctors I came to my room and I just started crying and crying because like no one likes to disappoint their parents right like your parents grounding you is different like or like physical discipline like spanking you and stuff but like when you discipline when you discipline when you disappoint your parents it's like a whole new feeling like everyone hates it so then that day my my aunt came and she just like she just cried with me um she was just telling me like she's proud uh that i told her that i decided to tell everyone like tell my family like the same day i found out or like as soon as possible um that that was very mature of me to do and everything and honestly and what like one reason another reason why i did that was because i'd rather get grounded earlier and like get over it and get over it within like a week or two or maybe three like um it, it, it was easier to get it was just easier to tell her earlier and get over the grounding and everything and being upset with me um then hiding it and then her finding out like either through someone because you know how word spreads in high school so like either her finding out through someone else or like me hiding it and then telling her and then something happens or like not or if, even if nothing if nothing happened with with my baby but like you get me then I would have just been grounded like further along and she would have been more mad so that was one thing my mom always told me like never lie to me about something because I will always find out and you're gonna get in even more trouble for not telling me right after my aunt left we had a good morning sorry my dog walked in well he's not my dog he's my baby come here come say hi can you say hi this is my baby until my baby comes no and he will always be my baby i love you baby thank you for saying hi He's so calm right now because he had a walk. Anyways. Bye, baby. He loves to just check on me. Anyways. So, like, after my aunt left that day, we talked. My mom and I had a talk. And, like, it's always been hard for me and my mom to talk. Like, usually when we had, like, issues, we would kind of just, like, write notes to each other. Because that's that that it was easier for me and so um we had a real discussion that day and like we were just discussing like what's gonna happen and everything and um i'm really grateful for my mom for like being there like i know in the moment she said a lot of hurtful things but we all do like every time anytime any of us gets angry I understood where she was coming from like I understood that she was mad and I understand why she was mad like my mom raised me all on her own she knows what it's like to raise a baby so young or in her case too um she just wants what's best for her children as if as any mother does so uh within two weeks I want to say um, she kind of got over being angry and just accepting it for what it was. Like, hey, there's a baby coming, whether we like it or not. Um, and that's my grandchild, so of course I'm gonna lo I'm I'm gonna love him or her because we didn't, at that time we didn't obviously we didn't know what we were having. Um, and. To this day, I don't regret telling my family. Um, I just probably, if I was in that situation again, I would have done it like a little bit differently, like in the way I told them. 
but whatever. Anyways, so I didn't, I have an older sister. Uh, her name is Alexis. I didn't tell my sister. My mom was the one that told her. And my sister was mad at me for a while. Like, she wouldn't talk to me. Or she would just kind of give me attitude. I could understand why. My sister was always, like, watching out for me. Like, she knew, because she knew how smart I was. She didn't want me to ruin it or, like, ruin my life or whatever. Um. So my sister was very upset with me for a while. Like, I again, it took a couple of weeks for her to get over it. Actually, it took her longer to get over it than my mom. And, I mean, now we have, what, three months left? Three, three and a half months left before he's here. And she's, she's excited to be an aunt. And I'm very thankful for my family. They've, they've supported me through everything. Trey telling his parents is another story. And that's going to be safe for another time. Because I want him to explain it. Not me. Because, like... I don't, he knows his parents better than I do. It happened. It all happened very fast. Like, like from one day to the next. Like, oh, you're we're joking. You're pregnant. Like, oh, we're joking. You're pregnant. Oh crap, we are pregnant. Tell your tell our parents. Like, tell our family. Like right away. Like it was very fast. And like, now that I look back at it, back on it, kind of just laugh. Like. At like what we were thinking or whatever. I'm so tired. I'm glad to be back. I'm surprised I'm here alone. I'm very, if you don't know me, I'm like the shyer person of the of the couple. Trey's very like outgoing and he's fun and um, what's it called? Yeah. So I'm very surprised I'm doing this, but I'm happy I am. Um. If you like this story time and if you have like any more questions or like if you just guys just want to see like certain content, um, just leave it down in the comments and like Trey, Trey and I will most likely do, will most likely do what you guys are asking for even if it's like crazy because if you've met Trey, he's crazy so don't worry about that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We're going to try to post every Friday. So stay in tune for next Friday's video and we'll be back with more.